everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A drug already in use as a cancer treatment could help those suffering from Parkinson's disease. The drug, nilotinib, which is used to treat leukemia, was the subject of a small phase one clinical trial involving patients with neurodegenerative diseases. Ten of the 11 participants who completed the trial exhibited significant improvements, including better cognition and motor skills and positive changes in key biomarkers related to Parkinson's and dementia. When the study ended and nilotinib treatment was stopped, the participants showed a decline in the areas that had improved during the study. Despite these results, the researchers cautioned not to get too excited yet. This was a very small study with no control group. These results have to be confirmed through expanded trials before any conclusions about the effectiveness of nilotinib as a Parkinson's or dementia treatment can be reached. Nonetheless, these early results are encouraging, and further studies are on the way. These results were presented over the weekend at the annual meeting of the Society for Neuroscience in Chicago. Next up, physicists in Vienna may have discovered an elusive and much sought-after particle. The particle is called a glue ball. It's a theoretical composite particle made entirely of gluons. Gluons are the elementary particles that mediate the strong nuclear force, which means that glue balls are composite particles composed entirely of force. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm not a physicist. I can't even begin to understand it. But what I do understand is that glue balls can't be detected directly. They can only be recognized by their decay patterns, which are also difficult to see. Which brings us to the paper just published by scientists from the Vienna University of Technology. The authors of the paper employ a new simplified model to calculate glue ball decay, and they conclude that a particle found in data from particle accelerator experiments, Maison F01710, is an excellent match for a glue ball. Upcoming experiments at the Large Hadron Collider could help to settle the question. The paper is published in the journal Physical Review Letters. And finally, researchers in Sweden have created new carbon-capturing crystals. The material is called SGU-29, and in the future, it could be a very useful tool in combating climate change. It's able to effectively absorb carbon dioxide from humid air, something that current methods are unable to do, since other materials that absorb CO2 tend to absorb even larger amounts of water. What makes SGU-29 different is that it has separate micropores for CO2 and water, meaning that the two substances aren't competing with each other over the same absorption sites. This allows SGU-29 to capture much larger amounts of CO2 from humid air. Not only could this help to mitigate climate change, the inventors of SGU-29 speculate that the captured carbon could be recycled for other applications. The paper on SGU-29 is published in the journal Science. A cancer drug shows promise as a treatment for Parkinson's disease and dementia. Physicists may have discovered another elusive particle, and a new crystal can efficiently absorb carbon from humid air. That's the good news. Okay, Adi, I'm going to give you a second here at the end to just say whatever you want, so go ahead.